Hi everyone! To all my American viewers, I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July, and to my international ones, I hope you had a great Friday and have are having a wonderful weekend. Uh, for today, as promised, is my day version of my Titania stage makeup look. Um, as I told you all, the, this will be sort of in conjunction with that stage makeup series. So this is what I came up with for her. Um, as you can see, it is still has her hints of fairiness to it. I have just the aqua underneath the eye as well as the purple lip. Um, but I wanted to keep it a little less dramatic, but also create something that you could wear that's perfect for the summer. So this, all, this look uses this Aqua Lilies palette by Tarte. Um, you don't have to use this palette, this is just the one I used. This was specifically created for summer, um, either last year or the year before. And all of the colors are waterproof um, and natural, so they will stay on and yet not smudge. Um, and so here is the palette. And as you can see, that little aqua, the aqua over here, um, is what I have under the eye. And the rest is just very, very simple. You could also do a nice simple lip with this, maybe a coral lip or a nude. Um, but keeping with my Titania theme, I did uh, the purple. So here is how to create it. I'm going to start by applying a tinted moisturizer all over my face. Tinted moisturizers are really great for the summer because they give you full coverage, yet protect your skin and are very lightweight. Next, I'm going to use a concealer that is one shade lighter than my skin tone and apply it under my eyes and down my cheek just a little bit. This brightens your face and makes you look really awake. To set the foundation, use your favorite finishing powder. Mine is the Meteorite Pearls from Guerlain. This particular powder gives a nice radiance while setting the foundation so it stays all day long. If you groom your brows, do them now. As I've said before, I just use a clear brow gel to set mine. Prime your eyelids with a shadow base, such as Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This prevents your eyeshadow from smudging, especially in the hot summer months. With the Aqua Lilies palette from Tarte, I'm going to use this bright white shadow and apply it directly under my brows to just open up my eyes. Next, I'm going to use the Shimmery Light Gold and apply it all over my lids, into the crease, up into the brow, just as a nice base color. Taking the matte taupe, I'm now going to contour my eyes by applying this color into the crease. I'm going to define my eyes with a medium brown liner, such as Whiskey from Urban Decay. Just line the top lash line and then I'm going to blend it all together into the crease. So I just take a fluffy brush and just go over the crease and the line itself. Now for the pop of Aqua, I'm going to take that Aqua shadow and apply it gently under my bottom lash line. Just all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Now for an extra optional step, I'm going to take this aqua liner from Urban Decay called Deep End and apply it directly to my waterline. This is a bit odd if you've never done this before, but it really gives that extra hint of aqua in the eye. Now I curl my lashes and apply mascara and the eyes are done. Now I'm going to take the Corally Peach Blush from the Aqua Lilies palette and apply it directly to the apples of my cheeks. This just gives a nice peachy glow. The lips for this look are very close to my stage Titania look. So I'm going to take the Burgundy Liner in Quartz from MAC and line my lips. I'm going to use a Fuchsia Lip Color from NARS and just fill in that line. And then just finish with a bright purple gloss from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And that's it. So that is my Titania day look, also perfect for summer. Um, I hope you all enjoy this. I hope you all can really get, get use out of this series. Uh, so that is why I'm doing it, again, to make it more accessible. Be watching on Monday for my injuries video. Um, it is going to be shot at Disney World. If you didn't see my little 50-second uh, quick surprise update video. My dad sprung a Walt Disney World trip on my mom and I 
and said, we're leaving tonight, let's go. So, you know, I'm leaving in about two hours. Um, and so that video will be shot there. I will be vlogging that trip and taking you all along with me, um, but they will that will not take the place of any of the other videos that I have already told you all about. Uh, it will just be intermixed in there. Um, so I will be sticking to that schedule. I love you all. I hope you have a fabulous weekend, and I will see you on Monday.